it's important to point out that there is uh, a new technique that's evolving using certain types of dye compounds that can be given to a patient before surgery to identify a tumor. Now currently the only type of tumor where that could be used is the type of tumor that shows enhancement with contrast on the preoperative scan. What that means is when the dye material is given during the course of the preoperative MRI scan, if it shows up as a large white spot on the scan, then that means it's contrast enhancing. And therefore, it's possible to take advantage of that defect in the blood vessel system in the tumor to give a dye compound that could leak into the tumor and show up during the course of surgery. So currently there is a dye compound that is not FDA approved. It's only available in Europe. And it is used to give to patients to identify contrast enhancing tumors. The reality is that the goal of that process is to try to do a more aggressive resection to, in other words, localize the tumor better during surgery, but the navigational systems do that currently. So it may be possible that with that dye compound that the surgeon can find small bits or remnants of tumor that might be missed. And I think that's part of the early experience in Europe so far. So with that in mind, efforts are underway, led by myself and a few other investigators in the country, to petition the FDA to get this dye compound into our country to use it. In the meantime, we've used an alternative dye called Indocyanin Green that we have approval by our Committee on Human Research to use. It's an FDA approved dye that is used primarily by the ophthalmologist, for example, to see in the back of the eyeball as a fluorescein type or fluorescent type enhancing dye. And we use it now currently to see it leak out into the tumor under a special fluorescent microscope. So we're using this to replace the dye that is not available because it's not FDA approved, but this is FDA approved and whether or not this will be as good as the dye that's seen in Europe is questionable at the present time. We're currently doing those clinical studies now, so we don't know. But I think you'll continue to see an evolution of certain dyes available. And again, I think it's really important to ask the surgeon if they use navigation or any other device for intraoperative localization of the tumor and its margins.